All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by factoring out five to the power of x. So now I have five to the power of x times one plus one plus one plus one is equal to 1,000. Now one plus one plus one plus one is four. So I have five to the power of x times four is equal to 1,000. now if I divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out, and I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 250. So now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 250. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So now I have b times log a. So log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log of 250. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 250 over log of 5. Now, log of 250, I can rewrite that as log of 25 times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is going to equal log a plus log b. So log 25 times 10, that's going to equal log 25 plus log 10 over log 5. And this is equal to log 25 over log 5 plus log 10 over log 5. And log 25, that's log of 5 squared, so I have log of 5 squared, and remember I can move this exponent to the front, so this is, gonna, this is the same thing as 2 log 5 over log 5 plus log 10, which is equal to 1 over log 5, so then these two cancel out, and now I get x is equal to 2 plus 1 over log 5. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four is equal to four. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by subtracting four on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of four minus four is equal to zero. Now, I'm gonna rewrite x to the power of 4 here as x to the power of 2 times 2. Now I have this minus 4, which is the same thing as 2 squared, is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now this minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 2. So now I have x squared plus 2 times x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus 2 is equal to 0, and I get x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 2 equals 0, I can subtract 2 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 2. 
and then I can take the square root on both sides because I want to cancel out this power. So if I take the square root on both sides, square root of x squared is simply x, so I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 2. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 2, I can rewrite that as the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to the imagined number i. So I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 2i. Now for this, I have x squared minus 2 equals 0. I can add 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I get x squared is equal to 2. Now if I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. So just at first glance from this problem, I can already tell that x is greater than y because we have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. And if x were less than y, then this would result in a negative number. But it, because it results in a positive number, we know that x is going to be greater than y. So this means that we can say that x is equal to y plus some constant k. So now, if I replace x with y plus k, I get 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, that's going to equal 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, I can factor out 2 to the power of y. So I have 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 2016. Now, I can rewrite 2016 as 32 times 63. And now notice that I have an even number times an odd number. And over here, I have an even number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and I have an odd number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be an odd number. So, meaning these two are equal to each other, and these two are equal to each other. So, I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 32, and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 64. Or sorry. 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. So, let's first start with 2 to the power of y equals 32. So we have 2 to the power of y is equal to 32. And 32, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. So I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 5, meaning y is equal to 5. Now, for 2 to the power of k minus 1 equals 63, I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides, so these two cancel out. So now I have 2 to the power of k is equal to 64. 64, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 6, meaning k is equal to 6. Now remember, x is equal to y plus k, so x is equal to 5 plus 6, meaning x equals 11. 